On this episode of Budget Project, I install a security system on my 1986 r I picked up the whole kit for around $20. And uh, it's a pretty simple install. It does have a lot of features that I'm not going to use. Like it has a remote start, an ignition cutoff, and those type of things. But mainly what I'm going to use is it has a motion sensor. If anything hits the bike, anyone gets on the bike, tries to move the bike, the alarm will go off. That's mainly what I'm going to use it for. I don't really need the other features. Um, plus it's complicated to show it in a video anyways. I might install it at some point later, but not in this video. Now the first step is getting to your battery. On this bike, I have a little key, push down, turn the key, and the seat gets released. And the hardest part about installing security systems on bikes, especially a street bike like this, doesn't have a lot of room, is finding a place to mount the actual system and the uh, siren. But since I installed pod filters on my bike, I have so much more room now under the gas tank. That's where I'm going to put everything. out of the way for now. So right now my plan is, this is the uh, main control module, this is the siren, is I'm just going to mount it on the back of the uh, battery box, side by side like this, to make it easier to just wire up and uh, it's not that big of a deal I don't think anyone's gonna know what it is the alarm's gonna be loud because there's nothing covering it and uh, yeah now obviously I could drill in and do it that way but this kit comes with these uh, packets of it's pretty much double sided tape so clean off the back Clean this off too. <clears throat> Real professional stuff here, guys. And there we go. It's a good attachment. I don't think it's going to fall off. Um, I think it's weatherproof, so it should be fine. And now the siren right next to it. There we go. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Also, this thing does come with a 9-volt uh, attachment in case your battery dies and cuts the wire. The siren will still sound. So let's connect the uh, siren. And let's get the uh, wiring harness. So this is the wiring harness. We only need the red and black wires, which is the positive and the negative. Now I still haven't decided if I want to use the rest of this feature, so I'm not going to sniff off the other wires yet. But I am going to loom them back up. And, uh, just get them out of the way.
positive or negative. Strip the end of the wires. Now first things first, before actually connecting any of the wires permanently, I'm going to test this out. Positives on the left in this bike and negatives on the right. Let's see. Now the battery on this bike might be dead. Um, I've been using a lot of the lights and the horns, or trying to start it without actually starting it. So, you never know, but we'll see. Okay. Nothing. Let's see the instructions for a second. <laughs> yeah, it works. It works. Ooh, man, that was loud. That was ear-piercingly loud. I don't know if you can tell it. Um, headphone users, beware. That was good. All right. Now let's catch it one more time. And test the uh, motion sensor. Lock it. Ooh, man. Well, beep. So the instructions say after three seconds the alarm is set. So let's see. Oh, yep, that works. That works. And uh, yeah, just make some terminal connectors or strip some wire. Actually, I'll just connect it right now. So what I'm gonna do now is strip off more loose wire. Okay. And the same thing for the negative. Well that probably could have worked. Okay. Now I don't have any terminal connectors that will work. So instead, what I'm going to do is just wrap it around the wire as I tighten it down. I'm going to do the, uh, oh boy, where's my size 10? I think it fell, but I'm not too sure. Oh, nope, found it. Here it is.
I'm not gonna take off the bolt of the terminal. Instead, I'm just gonna loosen it. Push it in. Okay. Once again, positive, negative. I'm gonna run this, these wires. Probably could have done them over the top, but I'm committed. Okay. Twist the positive. Make a little U about halfway, and then thread it in between the uh, the bolt and the nut. Okay, and then just twist them together. And then tighten down. I mean, this isn't as good as getting up the correct size terminal connector and doing all that fancy stuff, but I don't have them on hand. Honestly, I expected a kit to come with something like that, but it did not. So you gotta make do with what you got. Okay, that's the positive. And same idea for the negative. You know what? I'm gonna disconnect this. I'm just gonna go on. Okay. Because that hurt my ears a lot. There we go. Whew. Reconnect the horn. Okay. Put the bracket for the uh, gas tank back on. Now the other wires are for the ignition, for the remote start, and also for the blinkers, you want the blinkers to flash. But honestly, that horn is going to bring enough attention if anyone tries to touch the bike that I'm not even worried about the blinkers or any of the other features. I'm probably going to cut those wires and zip tie it all away so it looks good. Maybe loom it up. Um, yeah, and that's how you install it.
attach the seat. There we go. That's how you install security system on a bike.